Today we are going to do a very simple test that it's going to be self-drive in a highway at 110 kilometers per hour. I choose this speed because the highway that we are going to use does have a limit that is between 100 in some places and 120. So I decided to put it at 110, that it's more or less in the middle and uh, it will be an easy task for the car to do it. And we will do it now with ACC and LCC on. So I have activated now the self-drive, okay? And it is set to 110. You see it all here. And we will see now if the car slow downs or not in the highway. And you may be asking why I am doing this test today. First, slow down here, as you can see. So this turn, it did slow down from 110 to 110 free. So again, I will just leave you to see what the car does in self-drive. So sometimes I need to put my hands on the wheel so that the car doesn't complain. I decided to do this video today because it was announced today a new beta release. So uh, a new o OTA, so new software that it's going to arrive to our x banks that is going to be focused only and entirely on LCC and ACC. So it is stated on the release notes that it will solve uh, or it at least improve the situation on the slowdowns that I will demonstrate now. And also another thing that it will uh, help is when you want to manually overtake the system, if you do uh, just use your hands to move the, as you can see now, it is slowing down. Uh, if you just try to move the wheel drive and uh, overtake the system to do some maneuvers, sometimes you will fight a little bit because the car will try to keep you in the lane uh, because it, it will not understand that you are just um, trying to overtake. And sometimes it's, it's uh, a little bit uh, a fight, but it's easy, okay? You just need to push a little bit harder so that the system understands that you want to take over and then it will be easier to take over. But it seems that the new update will also help on that matter. So it will facilitate these changes between automatic drive and also manual drive. And there is one line there on the release notes that states that it will re uh, remove or uh, reduce the slowdowns um, on curves. So I do hope that it will then, we can compare then in the next video uh, when we have that software, we will try again exactly in this same how highway to see if the car does uh, perform better, okay? This is the reason why I am doing this video today uh, because if not, I will lose the opportunity to show you what is the current state, okay? Um, let me show you now because we are going to go, uh, enter in um, in an area that has some uh, uh, construction, okay? So I will have to move to the other lane, but I will wait a bit. But as you can see, so I still have 110 and the car is slowing down and then accelerating, slowing down, accelerating uh, constantly, um, as you can see uh, in the screen, okay? Now I will move on to the other lane, okay, because this one will be uh, in construction, so I will now leave it. Now here, temporarily, it is 80 kilometers per hour on this uh, small space, but let's see how the car performs in this construction place. So it is identifying, okay, and it is slowing down, now speeding up again, so it got a little bit scared and it slowed down, but now accelerated. Now we have some other blocking points, but no, it worked well, okay? So it did perform more or less. So it did slow down a bit um, in, the, um, in that uh, place, but then it, will, it did uh, perform well, in my opinion. But I just want to show you guys how the car is performing currently. Let me show you very quickly what is the version? So this is currently the 5.6.118902 version. And the new version is still the 5.6, but it's 14 something. 
Um, let me see now what happens. It's always a motorcycle. The car doesn't like motorcycles much, but it didn't say nothing today. But as I was saying, so the new version is 5.6.14, and it the, the does say that it will solve or at least reduce the problem with these um, slowdowns in turns. So I am doing now just a manual um, takeover because this car is even slower than 110. Let's do it. And let's continue to see what happens. So let's now do a automatic lane change. Okay, so the car is going to automatically change the lane. Very good. And let's see now how it performs in the remaining uh, curves that we have here. And then again, I promised that as soon as this better release, if, unfortunately, I was not selected for that. Um, again, so I am not um, well positioned on XBank to receive the beta uh, versions. Um, so I was, I am not able to test it while in beta, but as soon as then, of course, uh, the software is released, I will come back to this same highway and I will do exactly the, the same thing that we are doing now so that we see if there are improvements. So we did already notice a couple of slowdowns. We are entering uh, this highway. So let's see if something else happens. So again, I am currently in a 120 uh, speed limit highway and I have speed auto, uh, uh, the ACC set to 110. So let's see if it performs well on this. It should be able to do at 110 without any problem, any constraint. But the reality is that sometimes it does slow down without any reason to do that without any problem. So now we are going to enter another 100 speed limit. And as you can see, so the car is already slowing down to 93. And now it is speeding up. Slowing down. Speeding up, slowing down again. Speeding up. So this will be a nice place to check then with the new software if this will be changed or not. Let's see. So we are ending now the, this highway, so I will finalize the video. But I do believe that you already saw what is the current situation of the LCC and ACC of the XPeng version 5.6. As I mentioned, 5.6.11, and we do have a couple of issues here. So I disconnected now. Let just let this guy enter in the highway. So guys, again, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this uh, clip. I, I would believe that in a couple of weeks, one, two weeks, we will have this version available for every user, unless there is really something more complicated to solve that it's going to be identified on the beta uh, with the beta testers. Uh, so, of course, I don't know when the final software will be released, but we hope soon. And as soon as it is released, I will then execute exactly the same test so that we understand how the car uh, performs and if it was improved with the new software update. So, guys, thank you very much again, and I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.